In Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. The Bible says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Shout this declaration loud and clear. I reject sickness in my body in the name of Jesus. I reject sickness in my body. I reject sickness in my body. Say it again. I reject sickness in my body in Jesus' name. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. We are looking on the topic, 20 dreams that tells you to go for a medical test. 20 dreams that tells you to go for a medical test. Yes, we all need to go for a medical test to check out our health status, to know if we have a particular illness or challenges with our health. It is true that health is wealth. Whether you are sick, whether you are weak, whether you are depressed, it is important that we go for a medical checkup. There are dreams and there are dreams. There are dreams that tells you, that indicate that you need to go for a medical checkup. Yes, it is very important. You need to go for a medical checkup. You may have been having these dreams, these signs, that it's time for me to go to the hospital and check my health status to know if I have high blood pressure, to know if I have high blood sugar, to know if my, my heart is moving fine, to know if my kidney, my liver, they are functioning very well, to just check out some things about my health. It is very important. God loves us. The Bible says He has good plans for us. And sometimes, God will not use speaker in heaven. I begin to speak to you. My son, my daughter, it's time to go for a medical checkup. He will always use dreams, visions, and revelation to indicate his communication to us. Don't ignore those dreams. Don't ignore those signs in your life. If you want to live long, if you want to prosper, if you want to enjoy the fruit of your labor, you must take it as a habit to check your health, to examine your health, to go for a medical checkup. Very, very important. So number one dream that indicates that you need to go for a medical test is when you see red things in the dream. Red things in the dream. Red objects, red clothes, blood, something that is very scary, that is very threatening, that has the color of red. Do you know what that is telling you? It's telling you, my brother, there's danger. Danger of what? Danger about your health. Something is developing. Maybe you're about to have health problems. Or maybe you are having health problems. You may not know that you are having those signs or those symptoms. But this dream like this is telling you or is hurting you. Why can't you go for a medical checkup? Why can't you book an appointment to meet a doctor to diagnose about your health? When you are seeing red, red things in the dream or you are bleeding as a person. And in the physical realm, you are okay, you are strong, you are agile, you have this vitality. Sometimes, some people will be agile. So people will have that strength. But inwardly, their kidney is going. Inwardly, their liver is going. Inwardly, their heart, some of their organs, is rupturing. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Many people are dying because of ignorance. Take it now so that your enemy will not laugh at your death. Number two, when you see a doctor or nurse in the dream, when you see a doctor or nurse in the dream, whether the nurse is giving you drugs or you are just seeing doctor or nurse in the dream, what that is telling you is urging you, you know, is encouraging you to, to prioritize your health. Maybe there's something in your body that requires urgent medical attention, which you may know, which you may not know. So if you are seeing nurse or doctor in the dream, it means you need to go and examine your health. Check some things about your body. Your high blood pressure, your blood sugar level, everything that you need to check, go and check it. You know, early checkup sometimes, it may save you from disaster. So that you may not, so that you at the end, so that in the future, you may not end up spending money on sickness, on long-term sickness. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Number three dreams that tells you that it's time for you to go for a medical check is when you are running a certain test in the dream. A certain test in the dream. Pregnancy test, for example. Malaria test, for example. 
fever test for example blood pressure level for example blood sugar level for example you are running a certain test in the dream it's telling you my brother my sister take it as a priority to go and do a test if you actually see the particular test you were doing in that dream go and do it maybe you are going for pregnancy test and you are believing god for pregnancy for fruits of the womb and you are having dream of being tested maybe for example to positive to pregnancy or negative and you are still doubting if you are pregnant sometimes your pregnancy stripe your, your home pregnancy stripe may not even indicate sometimes whether you are positive early or negative it is better to go to the hospital sometimes when we follow our dreams, our dreams are just direction. And you may go there and discover that you are pregnant. And you are not seeing the symptoms in your body. That is the power of God. So if you are seeing yourself being tested or you are going for a certain test in the dream or in the hospital, try and make sure within that week, go and check your health. Meet your doctor. Tell her that you want to run certain tests and your doctor will help you out. It is well in Jesus' name. Number four, when you are eating spoiled food or fruit in the dream, when you are eating spoiled food or fruit in the dream, you need to go for a medical checkup. Number five, when you are tired or sweating in the dream, tired, extremely tired, fatigued, you are bored, you are burned up in the dream, you are sweating excessively, then you need to go for a medical checkup. Go for a medical checkup. Go and examine yourself. Go and diagnose some things in your body. Let your doctor take some step to check about your health. Don't keep silent. Don't say I'm not, I'm healed in Jesus' name. Don't say I don't, I don't have any sickness in my body. Don't say I, I don't have fever, I'm a strong person. I don't, I don't have any relations between me and doctor. I cannot go to the hospital. The hospital is not my portion. The illness that will make you to spend millions of dollars or millions of naira, you can just achieve that by preventing that thing from lasting long or from penetrating into your body. So when you are tired or sweating in the dream, it could be a warning sign. For you to check your health very very important number six when you are biting by animals in a dream animals like snake animals like duck animals like dog animals like pig animals like goat crocodile all those poisonous animals you are being bited by them then you need to go for a medical checkup something has been thrown into your body something has been fired into your body if care is not taken that it could develop to to terminal illness in your body Take heed now, so that the enemy will not use this dream against you in the future. Number seven, when you are bleeding or saw blood stain on your body in the dream, when you are bleeding or saw blood stain, blood stain on your clothes in the dream, then you need to go for a medical checkup. For you to bleed in the dream, it means that you are weak, you are not feeling fine spiritually, and physically, you may not be feeling fine. Seeing blood stain on your clothes in the dream, spiritually, that's blood stain on your clothes in the dream is a sign that you are spiritually sick yes spiritually sick there's a danger coming about your health go whether you are sick evangelist i don't i can't go to the hospital i've been to the hospital for about three years i can't go sometimes it is profitable when you do certain things Helly, many people have died through common headache many people have died through common um, through common malaria so there's no small sickness, there's no big sickness. I pray, may sickness not come near our dwelling. So when you are seeing some dreams like that, how much is high blood pressure, how much is blood pressure level, how much is blood pressure test that you can do? How much is blood sugar test that you can do? These things are for your benefits, the benefit of your health. It will guide you how to eat. It will guide you how to do some things. There are some people that sit for too long that type of activity requires them to sit for too long. And that kind of thing, health-wise, is not good. When you are sitting for too long, when for about stretch out like eight hours, nine hours, it's not good medically. So when you are bleeding in the dream, it means you are losing something. Maybe losing your glory, losing your health, and other things. Go for a medical checkup. Number eight, when you are sick in a dream, you need to go for a medical checkup. You need to go for a medical test. You are sick in the dream. I don't know the type of sickness. You are sick in a dream, or you discover that you contacted a deadly disease in the dream. Go for a medical checkup. Number nine, when you see the name of a hospital in the dream, the name of a hospital, you saw the name of the hospital in the dream, 
That dream is telling you that you need to go for a medical checkup. Go and examine your body. Go and know your health status. Go and know whether you are good to go. Go and know whether you are strong, health-wise. Go and know whether you, are, whether you are doing something wrongly, medically. When you are seeing the name of a hospital, for a pregnant woman, you are seeing the name of a hospital, it's telling you to go and book an appointment with a doctor. Number 10, when you engage in fornication, in sexual immorality, you need to go for a medical checkup. Because why? Something has been deposited in your body. If care is not taken, that thing could destroy you. Number nine, when you see a tree without leaves, that is a dry tree in the dream, it shows that you are going dry. It shows that you are sick. A dry tree spiritually indicates sickness. You need to go for a medical checkup. Number 10, when you are seen around waste bin in the dream, when you are seen around waste bin in the dream, you need to go for a medical checkup. You have been polluted. Waste bin in the dream is a sign of sickness. It's a sign of disease. It's a sign of vulnerability. It's a sign that you have been possessed. Go and check your health. Number 11, when you are drinking dirty water or poison in the dream, when you are drinking dirty water or poison in the dream, you need to go for a medical checkup. Something like a fluid has been deposited in your body. Has been deposited in your body. Go and check. Go and undergo some tests. But if you are feeling fine, you can see checkup. If you are not feeling fine, you can still go for a medical checkup. Number 12, when you are looking so thin in the dream, you are very thin, slim in the dream, you need to go for a medical checkup. You are sick spiritually. Number 13, when your teeth are broken, or shattered to pieces in a dream. When your teeth are broken or shattered to pieces in a dream, you need to book an appointment to see a doctor concerning your body or concerning your health. Number 14, when you are chased by natural animals or birds in the dream, when you are chased by natural animals or birds in the dream, you need to go and check your health. Prevent yourself from all this terminal illness. Because those natural animals or bears you are seeing chasing you in the dream, they want to ingest something in your body. You need to pray against that and go and book an appointment to see your doctor. Number 15, when you are pooing or bedwetting in the dream, when you are pooing or bedwetting in the dream, you need to go and see a doctor. Pooing is a sign of sickness. Bedwetting is a sign of shame. Losing something important in your body. You are losing your health and that means that it can make you vulnerable to sickness disease and infirmity it can make you go weak sometime so book an appointment and see a doctor to check your health very very important number 16 when you are seeing red pepper in the dream it's a sign of affliction it's a sign of illness it's a sign of spiritual attack witchcraft manipulation you need to go and see a doctor a particular sickness is come that will come suddenly and you will feel the pain of that sickness in your body. So please and please, if you want to live long, and if you want to have a good health, you need to go and see your doctor from time to time. Number 17, when you're on a sick bed in the dream, you're on a sick bed in the dream, on a sick bed, it's telling you that a particular sickness is coming. It's telling you that to protect yourself, take your health as priority, or there's something is coming in your body that will make you go weak. Why can't you go and book an appointment to see your doctor? It's very, very important. 18, when you pick snails in the dream, picking snails in the dream is a sign of sickness. It's a sign of setback. It's a sign of stagnation. You need to go and see your doctor. Let them diagnose your body. Let them check some things. And if the result come out negative, if it come out positive, you need to find ways to address those issues on time. Number 19, when your hair is caught in the dream, you need to go for a medical checkup. Somebody is attacking your health. 20, lastly, when you hear a voice telling you to go to the hospital in the dream, when you hear a voice telling you to go to the hospital in the dream, you need to go for a medical checkup. Call your doctor. Go to any doctor. Tell them that you want to examine your health. You are not feeling fine. Perhaps you are feeling fine, but you want to run some tests to discover if you are actually healthy, 100% or not. These are some of the dreams that indicate or tells you that you need to book an appointment to see your doctor. I pray, may silent sickness not kill you. 
not destroy you in the name of Jesus. Because many people have eating sickness in their body and they did not know about it. That's why I see some people, they will sleep and never wake up again. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Say prayer for number one loud and clear. Say, eating sickness in my body, die in the name of Jesus. Eating sickness in my body, die in the name of Jesus. Eating sickness in my body, die, 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 die in Jesus' name. Two, every sickness unto death in my body, be flushed away in the name of Jesus. Every sickness unto death in my body, be flushed away in the name of Jesus. Every sickness unto death in my body, be flushed away in Jesus' name. Three, the last prayer point. Blood of Jesus, immune my body system. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, immune my body system. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, immune my body system. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. I believe that this broadcast has been a great source of help to you. If you are blessed, kindly share it to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.